I'm Dirt with Shatterproof Leather. Guys, today we're gonna try something that's never been done before. We're gonna try and take this dirty old nasty boot and turn it into a premium leather product. Let's go. All right guys, so what I wanna make is a hand sanitizer keychain. So I got this little bottle of hand sanitizer and I thought it'd be neat if I could make a way to keep this on my keys. So what we need to do first is cut this boot apart and we're gonna try and get a piece of leather out of it that we can use as our main body for the keychain. I'm gonna go ahead and start by cutting the shaft of the boot off of the van. And uh, what that's gonna hopefully do is give me a nice chunk of leather that we can start working with and start manipulating down to the shape that we need for this project. entire shaft of the boot off. I'm gonna go ahead and split it down the middle, I think, and just lay this open. All right, there we go. Nice piece of boot shaft. Now, I think I might make this into a nice um, pair of cowboy flip-flops or summer cowboy slip-ons. All right, guys, so I was looking at this piece that we got here, and it looks like all this stitching is just for design purposes, so I don't think it's gonna be a big deal if we cut through that stitching. I was kind of worried about that at first, but looking at the back side, there's nothing, no type of liner or anything like that. It's just simply design. Now, I was looking at the piping here, which is this little ridge across the top of the boot. It's a little bit harder leather, and the nice stitching they got going on there. So what I think I'm gonna do is try to utilize that as the top of our bottle holder. I think if we do something like that, it's gonna look pretty sweet. And hopefully we should have a rough cut out here in just a minute that we can start stitching, gluing, and getting this thing looking for steam. Well, I got this piece cut out here and it's got these threads on top of this piping, which is good, makes it look really nice, but since I cut through those, I don't want them to peel out. So I'm just gonna take my lighter and heat those up on the ends and just basically reset those ends into the leather. That way they don't start pulling up over time. These have not been backstitched like we do on all of our products. We backstitch that way they don't pull up and then we burn them in, but that's okay that these haven't been. Um, this isn't gonna be a hard use item. This is just gonna be hanging on the old keychains. All right, so this is what I'm thinking. I think we get our bottle, we leave the bottom completely exposed. Now on the top here, we're gonna take a rivet and run it through this top corner. That way, it just exposes the cap, but the whole bottle won't slide through. And on the bottom, we'll run a strap. Now that strap is gonna act as two parts. It's gonna be A, our keychain, and B, it's gonna hold the bottle in. We'll put a button snap on the side so you can unsnap it, take it off your keys, fill it up, put it back in, snap it back, and you're ready to roll. Off, but it's got this weird backing, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and peel that off. Alright, so we've got the boot strap off. Now, what we need to do is trim it up a little bit, that way, it will fit our project a little better and the proportions will be right. So, we're gonna cut a little bit off of this strap and then we're gonna go ahead and stitch it to our project. All right, so the bootstrap's a little thick, so before we stitch it, what we want to do is just skive off a little bit. Uh -huh. Just like that, right where we're gonna stitch it. Now, it's nice and thin where we want to stitch. That way we don't have this bulky, thick, junky looking strap.
we've got the strap on, we've got the button, it's looking good. So before we glue this up, we're going to go ahead and finish this top edge and that'll be a little easier if we do that before we glue it and stitch it. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. We've got the edge finished and it looks really nice, super slick and clean. So we just need to glue this up, get it stitched, finish that final edge, and this thing is going to be ready to roll. It's all stitched up, looking really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put a rivet up here in the top corner just to keep that bottle from sliding out. I think that'll kind of help secure it in there a little better. So we'll go ahead and get this rivet set. So we've got the rivet set. We got our button snap on. We got it stitched. All right guys, so here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and see if it fits. Oh man, that's snug. Oh yeah. Check that out, so it fits. All right, I'm gonna clean it up, just make it look a little more professional, and I'll show you the finished project. Mm -hmm. 